That's why I prefer this one. It's a smart modem from Hayes. Look how easy it is to connect. This is the power cord. Plug this cord into any RS-232 computer, then plug the other into the telephone system. So simple. Hey, hello, and welcome. This is Gamed Out Gamer. Uh, unboxing video today. Yay! Um, what we have here, hopefully, in this box, and I've got another package here, we'll open it afterwards, is a Hayes SmartStack 1200 baud modem. Now, the reason I bought this, it's 2017, and these 1200 baud modems, when they first came out in 82, spring of 82, this is a Hayes SmartStack 1200 baud. Now, it's apparently in mint condition. So, let's go ahead. Uh, these go for, these are expensive on eBay. You see them over $150. I don't know why. I know they were a really quality product way back, but I, I just don't know why. Uh, even without power supply, you see them going for over 100 But this one I got quite cheap. I did a make offer, and uh, so I got, so I'm happy with that. No way I, would I buy something like this at, the, at that sort of price. So, you know, over, I wouldn't pay more than, I wouldn't pay much for one. All right, wow. And apparently this is in mint, can, like like new. It has been opened, but it is like pristine. A lot of them you see on eBay. There it is, Smart Stack. This is the, their, I think their original packing packaging. They, they later started with the green and blue on silver package, but this is, I think, their first, where it says Haystack and it's got this color. Wow, look at that. So this is, <coughs> the Hayes modems in the early 80s, first half of the 80s, they were expensive, but they were the top end modem that you could buy. And it wasn't, they had, Hayes had an advantage um, initially. But that, that then competition in the second half of the 80s really kicked in and Hayes was, Hayes, they were profitable, but uh, they, they, lo they lost a lot of, they just didn't bring their prices down. They just uh, needed to offer cheaper modems. Anyway, let's see if I can get this bubble. Bubble wrap. Well, well packaged. Let's see here. Got tape. Apparently, that's, the photos looked amazing. In fact, like two months ago, I I saw this listed on eBay, and I uh, I was just blown away at the at the the uh, the photos. Just not a single scuff and just so shiny so here's the side haze stack a little bit of yellowing on the box no big deal wow look the box is just awesome tiny bit of scuffing here nothing made nothing it's really beautiful okay haze went out of business in 1994 uh same year as commodore really right or no 90, 94 no it wasn't Oh, I forget. <laughs> During the late 90s. Because they, they finally went into uh, like liquidation in 1999. Sad to say. So here's the back of the box. I mean, so it's high performance. So you know it's like better than most stuff today. Uh, let's zoom in on the... Right next to my bed. And put the light. So here we are. Full half duplex 1200 or 300 baud. Now when these came out in uh, 82, gosh, this was... Well, we paid $529 or something for our 1200, but that was in 84. So I think these came out at like $700. This was not a cheap product. This was a high-end, very, very few people. And even in 84, there were not a lot of 1200 baud uh, bulletin boards, especially people with their home computers. Most of them, almost all of them, at first were 300 baud. All right, which is like one quarter of the speed. Anyway, uh, automatic speed. The, the 1200s were before error correction. They came out with, so if you picked up the phone while you were on a bulletin board or something, you'd get a string of uh, characters, like line noise. The modem would think it was the other modem sending data, but really it was just uh, line noise. Um, all right, so auto answer, touch tone pulse dialing, connects directly to telephone line, RS-232C, and that's this other package here is a, is a modem, is a RS-232 cable specifically for the Atari 850 interface to this modem. 
uh, audio, audio monitor alerts busy signal. Okay, yeah, it has a speaker. So I'm I'm curious with the back of the modem because ours had like a little white volume knob here. The specifications. So I'm not sure because they're different Hayes 1200s. Here are the specifications if you want to pause and read it. Let's go ahead and take it out. It's yellow, but it that almost adds to the to the to it a little bit for me. Wow. Okay. So there is the Smart Modem 1200 Owner's Manual. Wow. And this is just like set in. There's my phone. <laughs> Alright, so there's the, the owner's manual, uh, all kinds of AT commands. Now, when before, before Windows, this is long before Windows, when you used a modem, you would use a terminal program. It was just like, like sort of like DOS, like text mode. No, no graphics, uh, no double clicking or anything like that. There's the man. You would uh, use AT commands. You would type, like ATDT means attention, dial, touch tone. Uh, so, wow, look at this. So there it is, like it's beautiful. A, a lot of them, most of them on eBay, almost all, they're just, they have, they're like damaged on the back, or they're just treated so poorly. This has the power supply. A lot of them on eBay don't. It comes with a little phone, phone, uh, I don't think ours even came with that. I don't know if that was part of the package. Let's go ahead and take it out. Something going on here with the. Is there something shaking? Oh, I don't know what this is. This might be part of a rubber band. That might be part of a twisty tie or a rubber band or something. I think it's a part of a twisty tie. So here's the front. This is kind of why I bought it. The front. Look at it's how beautiful. Oops. Let's see if I can get light on this for you. And I'll turn it on. I'll do a separate video where it's turned on. Let's focus that. They're just awesome. The faceplate was awesome. And had like these LEDs in there. Smart modem 1200. That's identical to what ours look like. Let's look at the back. Oh, it does. It does. Yes. Yeah, see the back? It's got that little white volume knob on the right side. Um, that is what ours had. So it's like, I guess we had a smart stack. And get a reflection on it for you. See, so on the left you have the the this power switch. Does it work? It's really stiff. That is one of the stiffest power. Awesome. The th these were these were the top end modem. All right. So here's your RST. Your power goes in here, RST, uh, and then RST thirty two C twenty five pin, I think, and then your t your phone line would plug into here. And then the white volume knob, which I really wanted that because that's what ours had. Ours had that white. I think the later ones removed the volume knob and uh, you had to use the AT commands to set your volume in command mode on the modem. All right. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mint. Beautiful. Look at the top. Awesome. Not a single... And then the underside of the modem, it's got a little, it's a little cold, so it's, I've got con that's condensation from my hand. It's a little, the modem's a little cold. It's a smart modem 1200. And that's what, that's what ours looked like, like exactly. I don't know what that is in front of the, there's something going on there. I don't think I'll open the, take it apart or anything before, I, I think I'll just, I know the power supply there is pretty, you know, it's, this is probably 35 years old, coming 82, 83 time frame it was made, maybe early 84. But it's, so it's like, just about 35 years old, they came, well they came out 35 years ago. The feet, this has not been used, I can tell because the feet are pristine, the, the top, the bottom, the, I don't know if I can get a reflection on the foot for you. 
don't know if you can see, but there's no scuffing or anything like that on the feet. See, the, in the box, they sit in those little, there's a little hole underneath each foot. So they're not scuffed. Let me bring the tripod back up. There we go. Wow, smart. All right, my, my camera, after 10 minutes, just stops recording due to file size limit. All right, so, uh, wow, Smart Moto 1200, so there it is. I'm kind of creating a, uh, just recreating what I had as a kid, you know, older nostalgia, certainly. Um, but, uh, all right, so let's take, there's the front again. I'm really, I really love the front of the modem. Let's see. Get it focus. I think it's a badass front. The, and most of the modems back then d did not have this awesome aluminum case. This aluminum keeps it cool with a lot of, like, I had a friend with US Robotics, uh, and his would get really hot in the plastic uh, case. This is a high, this is a top end product for today. All right, let's look at the power supply. This is you know, hate for use with haystack units. 13 and a half volts, it says. Hayes 52-002 for indoor, indoor use owner, made in Taiwan. 12 watts, 13 and a half volts, 700 milliamps, 9.5 VA as well, 9.45. Which is it, 9.45 or, I guess AC, I don't know, 13 and a half VAC, all right, and 9.45 VA. I don't think it's been used. I don't see any, uh, I'm looking at the, maybe it has, I don't see any obvious scratches on the plug, but it doesn't look perfectly clean. Hard to know. It doesn't, it looks in really good, good condition on the back. All right, let's do the uh, RS-232 cable. went like that okay so now we have this is vital well so let's do this this is a brand new inbox RS232 cable or not in box but in package right I don't want to uh... there we go let's just do this Nice packaging here. Okay. And this is the same one we had. We didn't have the Atari one. Atari one was black. This one is not. So there it is. We had a gray one. So what else would it have been is this ICD. This is the, the ICD made great products back in the day. Show you the label first. So, you know, P connects to ICD's PR connection or Atari's 850 interface module. ICD had their own interface. Uh, we didn't have that. High quality six foot cable supplies connections needed for full handshaking. So here's the connect, the ends. See, it has a mail on this side. Usually for serial uh, plugs on your PCs these days, they will have a mail on the computer side. But the 850, if you look at my video, my unboxing for the Atari 850, it's a female connection, so you need a male connection, nine pin cable, and then the uh, the other the other end is standard with a twenty five pin. So there it is, new you know new in package still, you know not new but new old stock. So wow, what does it say? Made in Taiwan as well. Yep, made in Taiwan. Awesome. Wow, I'm set. I'm <laughs> I'm set to do some twelve hundred baud. Modem stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna get that working. I wonder if I can get that working over the internet, like not voice over IP, but like like um, some way to get that working. Maybe like a USB to phone adapter that I can make calls or something. I don't know yet. So there it is. The uh, 
Smart Modem 1200 and the new ICD. That's the underside of them. This is the speaker here. These are very, these speakers are really loud. There's the top of the modem. All right. Awesome. All right, I, I'll do another video with everything set up and showing the 8-bit system and uh, maybe with the Amiga as well. But with the Amiga, I had a faster modem. Well, not initially. I used this modem, but then I got, did get a, a 2400 baud modem Supra later on. But, all right, I'll do, keep an eye out for my, uh, maybe I'll put a link here into the, into the video, when, uh, but that's going to be a while yet. Thanks for watching. This is Game Gamer.